Hello, it's me, the Emmy Goddess. Last night, um, Honey and I watched the documentary Unrest, made by Jennifer Breyer, who documented her journey with Emmy. They were both uh, doing their professorship at Princeton or something, and she got sick, so she was very well placed uh, to undertake. Sorry, hang on. She was very well placed to undertake research and ask the questions and try and make sense of the answers. I had been putting off watching it because I thought it would be um, quite distressing, but actually I found myself experiencing a kinship with, not so much with Jennifer, but certainly with the people that she was connecting with who were telling their stories all around the world. Um, they also had a, 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 oh, sorry, forgotten what her job was. gone. Anyway, there was some sort of doctor on there who really looked into the immunology of what happens. And even though all the other tests that can be done turn up relatively normal, all the tests that this woman did on the immune system came back severely abnormal and it was kind of like, yeah, I already knew that, but it was just great to have someone confirm. The other thing she said is once, you know, you're reaching the five-year five mark of being fairly sick, recovery is unlikely, remission is unlikely, and we kind of knew that too. Um, I'm into my third year of being bed bound and we as a family know that I'm not going to be leaving my bed um, yeah well it's tragic news it's also a relief to know that what we thought the situation was actually is what the situation is. So I'm going to keep documenting. The only way this disease is going to get the funding it needs for research. Because it's been around for years, a lot longer, under different names. It was just called hysteria or a hysterical reaction to whatever. So it mainly affects women. The majority of the people who are sick are women. So, uh, you can tell it's a normal household. House, you can tell it's a normal household with the background noise. There's a little bit of fighting going on, but they'll work it out. They're clever kids. So, yeah, it didn't affect me as much as I thought it would, and I'm pleased about that because I was a bit of a chicken and, and watching it. But if anybody goes on Netflix, you can see it on Netflix now for free. Um, the documentary is called Unrest by Jennifer Breer, and it's just an insight into this disease so like I said I'm going to keep sharing I'm going to keep documenting because all of us around the world are doing our own little bit on very limited resources energetically and and financially because of our situation and um, we just got to keep telling our story 
we just got to keep going. Today I'm really tired. I'm really tired. I slept all last night and then I slept until 2 o'clock this afternoon. And I just feel... I'm just really tired. Holding my camera up is about as much exercise as I'm going to be doing today. But it is getting harder and harder to get out of bed into the wheelchair to get to the toilet. The toilet's on the other side of the house. And I'm finding that Honey's having to help increasingly with just the mechanics of standing up, getting to my chair. It's an electric chair, so it takes care of all of that. Mo, 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 mo. Mo, 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 movement, and um, movement, yeah, and and then I need help to sort of arrange my garments appropriately, and then help to get back into my chair, and then get back through the house, and then back into bed. We don't have an ensuite. It's a funny old house, this thing. We had plans to do it up. And that was 12 years ago. Good things take time. So, I'll probably sign off now because I think I'm about to start talking gibberish. So, I'm sending peace, love, and moonbeams out to everybody. I hope you have a peaceful weekend, as gentle and pain-free as possible. Okay, toodles for now.